Hey guys, it's Becky from thecookierookie.com and today I'm bringing you the ultimate easy chocolate dessert, fudge brownie pie. This fudge brownie pie is to die for and if you're a chocolate lover, it is a must make. We make it every time for Christmas morning, Thanksgiving night, and every game day in between. You're gonna love it. Let's get started. It's as simple as making basically our own brownie mix. It's not as hard as you think. I will admit that it took me years and years to make homemade brownies, and still I go back to the box mix sometimes, but if you're in for a real treat, this is what you have to do. We're gonna start by melting chocolate chips and butter, and we're just gonna melt it in the microwave, no big deal. Melt it at 50% power until it's smooth and creamy. Stir it in between. Okay, so it took about a minute and a half on 50% power, but now we have nice and creamy chocolate and butter mixed together. We're gonna go ahead and add cocoa powder and oil to this mixture, and we're gonna whisk it until smooth. The more chocolate, the better in a fudge brownie pie. Just give this a quick whisk. It doesn't have to be perfect. Should come together really, really easily. Okay, once this is nice and smooth, we're gonna add our sugar, eggs, vanilla, and salt in a separate bowl and whisk that until that's combined. Should be pretty simple as well. Brown sugar adds such a nice depth of flavor to this fudge brownie pie. It is so delicious, especially topped with ice cream. Promise me you're gonna top it with ice cream. And you can actually use the same whisk as you used for your chocolate. It's all going in the same place. Might as well just only get one whisk dirty. Just give this a nice stir and whisk until it's nice and fluffy. I love that this recipe doesn't require a mixer. Only get a couple bowls dirty and you have the best pie ever as an end result. Now, once we've got both mixtures complete, we're just gonna combine the two and whisk them in the bigger bowl of the two. And next we're going to add our flowers and more chocolate chips because this is a very, very chocolatey recipe. You can see it's kind of starting to come together like a traditional brownie mix. So yummy. Okay, mix in this flour and more chocolate chips. And we're almost in business. Okay, you can now see that we have a really good brownie batter consistency and we're ready to pour into our crust. So before we started, I actually blind baked this crust. I talk about this on the blog a little bit, but blind baking just means you're pre-cooking the crust. That way, when you pop it back in the oven to cook with the pie, the bottom is fully cooked. What you wanna do is place your raw pie crust inside the tin, and I used a store-bought pie crust, so don't feel bad. Pierce the bottom with a fork, line with parchment, and then we filled it with northern white beans, unbaked, just the hard beans. This is gonna keep your pie crust down so you don't get that bubble up effect when you're baking. And also, it makes sure the entire crust is fully cooked and evenly cooked. Now we're gonna pour in our pie, pop it back in the oven, and we'll get the edges nice and browned. It'll be perfect all the way through. We are almost done and almost ready to eat our fudge brownie pie. The last step is adding our honey roasted pecans. Now this is optional, but it does add a really nice texture and flavor to the end recipe, so if you like nuts at all, I really recommend it. We're just gonna pour them directly in, not mix them into the batter, but pour them into the bottom of the crust. And it does look like a lot, but it turns out awesome, trust me. Then you just pour your batter right over top. Get every piece of chocolatey goodness in there. We are ready to bake and then serve. Okay, I am so excited about this fudge brownie pie. Insert a toothpick to make sure it's done all the way through, and you're ready to slice and serve. We recommend serving with vanilla ice cream and serving to all your favorite family and friends. Hop over to thecookierookie.com for the full recipe.